person now went back training last October for the championship in 2014 so it, it's lovely to get it kicked off we, we've done three of them now in a row it'd be lovely to to go into four and I suppose you're always trying to rewrite history and like similar to the way we're chasing the All-Ireland glory it'd be nice to set a bit of history in Connacht too and um, Connacht football is on a high at the minute and it'd be like nice to be on top of that pile as well I suppose the, the first week of June it, it can't come quick enough for myself I think there's a tremendous championship in front of us Take the rivalry that exists between uh, Leitrim and Roscommon. You know, Leitrim will pack into a Hyde Park and they will put it up to Roscommon. And, uh, you know, such is that it's a local derby and, you know, they, they will give it their best shot. Similarly, whoever goes on to meet Mayo, you know, uh, they won't fear them, even though Mayo are in the top two in the country at the moment. Uh, neither Roscommon or Leitrim will fear them. They will face that challenge, delighted to be in a Connacht semi-final and will fight for the spot in the Connacht final. I think, and uh, I think we're a lot better than we were in 2013. I think that we've made a few changes to the panel. We've, the, the younger lads have got stronger and uh, I think tactically uh, the players have got used of the, 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 the tactics and uh, They've got used to the discipline that's required for inter-county football because I would say that needed to be improved improve on from 2013. And so where do, the, where do, where do we stand? Um, I suppose we stand hopefully better to, to be able to make an assault on the Connacht Championship. When we look back on it, we played 11 competitive games between the FPD and the league. We only lost two, so all in all, we'd have to, I suppose, take that as a positive. And I suppose with our under twenty ones getting to a Connacht final, and unfortunately, obviously, they were bet, and our minors getting winning the Connacht league. It, it so so has it. been a, it's been a positive four months for Leitrim football in general. We've got London in uh, in the fifteenth or twenty fifth of, of May over in Ryslip, and uh, that's that's our prime focus at the moment. They've shown, you know, in the last number of years that that they have grown and they've uh, improved a lot, and they're a legitimate challenge for for uh, for any Connacht team, and particularly over in Ryslip. So our our plan at the moment is to to focus one hundred percent on London. After that, we'll see where where the the championship takes us. Preparations have been good now. We've, we've been training away. We got back together in November and uh, started into strength and conditioning programs. Um, but we drew a line on last year. Obviously, you can't be living in the past, so we, we want to build on it and, and improve ourselves all the time. Well, we've strengthened the squad. We lost a couple of guys, but uh, same as any other county, you have a couple of turnover players. But uh, no, the, the squad is going well now that the, the mood is good and uh, training has been going very well lately. Basically, I think we've a very, very good forward line in particular. Like you know, if we can get ball forward to 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 those guys, I think uh, we can cause any defence a lot of trouble. Um, I think we can play a very, very good football for long periods of time, and uh, that's basically you know looking towards the championship is where where we need to be um, to be as competitive as possible in mid sector and to get ball forward as quickly as possible. And if, if we can do that, I think we can uh, uh, can win some games.